A major legal victory for Alec Baldwin ahead of his first court appearance. The district attorney dropping a firearm enhancement charge after the actor's attorneys argued prosecutors couldn't use a version of a law that wasn't on the books at the time of the shooting. The move dramatically lessens the potential prison time Baldwin could face if convicted. The DA's office saying it wants to avoid further litigious distraction by Mr. Baldwin and his attorneys, adding the prosecution's priority is securing justice, not securing billable hours for big city attorneys. No prosecutor ever drops charges because the defense is litigious. That's what the defense does. Prosecutors only drop charges if they believe they can't prove them. The gun charge against armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed was also dropped. Her attorney writing, it was the right call, ethically and on the merits. But both the actor and the armorer, who each say they're innocent, are still facing a charge of involuntary manslaughter for their alleged role in the accidental shooting death of Helena Hutchins. On Friday, both are expected to be in court virtually for their first appearance. Do you believe Alec Baldwin should go to prison? Our focus is to get justice for Helena Hutchins and, and to let everybody know that just because you're an A-list actor, you're not going to um, be above the law. The legal win comes as Baldwin and his wife, Alaria, celebrated the night they met with similar Instagram posts. Alaria writing, in it with you, Alec, we are here, never alone. Baldwin writing in Spanish, I love you, my life, and thank you for our children. So, Miguel, uh, with that first court appearance, what was that expected to look like? Well, Savannah, both defendants are expected to appear virtually at Friday's court appearance. The prosecution may read some of the criminal complaint, but they aren't expected to enter any pleas. That option could come later on. Now, keep in mind, the attorneys have indicated they plan to fight these charges. After Friday's hearing, the next time we could see them would likely be at a preliminary hearing in May. So all eyes will definitely be on the next couple of weeks to see how things play out, Savannah. All right, a big development in that case. Miguel, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.